So then, Angry Birds is apparently up for an award this year for the best game of the year. Uh, I don't think so. I mean, with things like Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops, well, like the last year, it's not really, I don't think, eligible for such the game of the year. I mean, it's portable, for example. I mean, if it were a portable game of the year, then that, as well as Infinity Blade or uh, Dead Space for the iPad and iPhone, they'd be more suitable candidates. But for best game of the year, it has to go for either console or PC games, in my opinion, uh, pretty much to the fact that they've got a team of developers behind it, developing such games that are far superior than a plinky plonky chuck a, chuck a bird into some pigs and knock down things. It doesn't really bring anything new to the franchise at all. It's been out for years. Uh, there's many Flash games that are exactly the same, but for 59p, and it is pretty fun. And you can waste hours and hours and hours of time on it. I mean, if you're on a bus journey to work in the morning and it's freezing and you're bored as hell, uh, you just plug your headphones in, listen to some tunes and blast away uh, with Killing Pig. Quite good, to be honest with you. But oh, I don't think it really deserves an award, so the best game of the year, by far. The, it, portable, if it were portable games of the year, like I said, then more suitable for that, really. Also, Killzone 3 uh, looks pretty tasty, but if it's not like Killzone 2, then it's not really going to be that good. I mean, the storyline is uh, pretty linear, go around, shoot things, progress to another area, shoot things, and see some tasty graphics and repeat again. It's nearly as repet repetitive as Assassin's Creed 1, uh, but from the trailers that have been released, uh, Killzone 3 it looks really tasty. I mean, the multiplayer, I bet the multiplayer will be even epic, more epic than the actual single player itself. I mean, most single player games now, well, most games, the single player is not really the main factor, such as Halo, uh, Call of Duty, the Moth, and Gears of War, but there, but Gears of War campaign is pretty cool, to be honest with you, uh, and so is Halo. Uh, but, Uh, the gameplay, the weapons, everything, the physics, it looks unbelievably good. I mean, really, really good. I mean, you can just check it out yourself on YouTube, but I'll probably put a video, a link here to a trailer, if I can be bothered to, uh, or if I remember. And that's it, really, for Cool Down 3. Uh, as more news comes out, I'll try and update you on what I can. And also, for the new NGP. Sony's new portable, the NGP, uh, that looks really, really good. I mean, the touchpad on the back looks pretty. The two, two dual analog beats the single one that the PSP originally had. Uh, that was just a bit of kicking the plums, really. I mean, you had to use the uh, the buttons as one joypad and then your joystick as the other one. I mean, God, King Kong was just a pain in the ass to do with that. Another FPS is for PSP. I mean, I didn't really buy many games for it. Only games I bought were. Uh, Final Fantasy 7, Crisis Core, which were really good, really enjoyed that, and also Dissidia, that were really good. But, mm, all in all, it's a good console, but from what I've heard from the NGP on many forums and things like that, is that it's going to have a quad core processor, and for a size or a handheld, but it's going to be a bit bigger than that, probably about to the from where, but this is just sucking me draw down, gathering dust, I don't really play on it anymore. And also, yeah, the quad core processor touchpad on the back, a 5 inch OLED display, so and so and also the battery life it should last up to 3 to 5 hours, which is going to be significant enough for any kind of length of gaming, but also it's got the ability to, from what I've heard, uh, if you've got, when the release metal gear solid for it and then you've got a save data on your PS3, you can port it over to the PSP and then carry on while you're on the bus and things like that, which looks really good. Uh, Really, really good. Oh, pasty as hell. Uh, and also, uh, the new 3DS. Uh, Zelda's been disclosed as not being a release title for it, which I'm pretty not happy about. I mean, that's the actual game I buy with the console. Well, the portable handheld, that's the only game I really could want to play on it. Maybe Kid Icarus 
but Ocarina of Time's got to be the best game for well release for the N64 as well as Super Mario 64, Jaws Mask and Star Fox. But Ocarina of Time ta- is is the sprinkle on the cake. It is the shiz. And that's all I can really say. Uh, so thank you for watching my video. I mean I'll upload another video in the next couple of days with some more news when I can actually get time off work and things like that. So I'm working at night so I'm recording this video at a three in the morning and I'm absolutely tired but I'm having a drink and I'm gonna have a jam on my guitars. And that's about it really. So thank you for watching and good morning, good night.